Hey, it's Dave Kirloff with TheLineWidgeHitting.com and today we're going to compare an amateur player with a pro player and analyze the head actions. And, and a very common problem with young players is this. And the sooner you can nip it in the bud, uh, whether it be 8, 9, 10 years old, the better. Uh, here we go. But if we look at the, play, the pro player on the right, his head action, and look at the uh, amateur player on the left. As this amateur player is going into the moment of impact, right here we can see at impact the head action for the amateur player his eyes are gazing at a space that's out in front of his body or the the pro player on the right his head is gazing in a space at a predicted space that's somewhere closer to his body and he's going to make contact closer to a better leverage position Now, what most coaches will tell the player on the left is the yeah, proverbial, keep your eye on the ball, keep your head down. And that's pretty good advice. But something that I've learned through the years is this. Athletes have better control of managing time, and they can also manage space. Whether they're playing basketball, football, hockey, tennis, Athletes know how to, to adjust themselves in the middle of, a, of an action, athletic action, to adjust space. And this player on the left needs to adjust his space because his eyes are fixed in the space that's way out in front of his body. Um, likewise, if we take another player up here and pull him up, we can see how well he has his head down at the moment of impact. Although it looks simple to do, and we keep telling our players over and over and over again to bury your face down, watch the ball all the way to the bat, it's not that simple to teach. We have teaching methods that are, that are very corrective, and players can uh, they gravitate to these teaching techniques to get this kind of result. This is very, very critical to teach early and make it a, um, get conditioned as mentioned before, as early as possible, ages even seven, eight, nine, ten years old. If a hitter's learned to master this action when they get older, they'll do it all the time. As you watch this pro player, Watch the head action get buried down in the moment of impact. This is what we want to get our kids to do in batting practice, in the games, and it's more than just watch the ball all the way to the bat. There's techniques that we do to help the player gravitate to this and they become better curveball hitters and changeup hitters and fastball hitters when they finally reach the age of 14, 15, and 16, and 17 years old and uh, they hit more advanced than other players. Hey, check us out at thelanguageofhitting.com. I'm Dave Kirloff.